Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your man, Uncle Demi, and I'm here once again with another banger, man. This one right here, y'all have been asking for. <laughs> and, you know, like they say, if you ask, you still receive. So, yes, my nephews, my nieces, Uncle Demi has brought you the finesse finisher, right? Now, I'm going to be honest with you, man. It took me almost like 30 minutes, probably longer than that, maybe 40 minutes, tinkering back and forth of how to make this the best finesse finisher build out there, okay? And I can reassure you, this is the best. It can't get any better than this, all right? Now, the finesse finisher is a very unique build, and it's going, once again, just like all the rare builds, it's 100% playable. Again, Uncle Demi got you with this one. I got you. This is the best way to make it, and I'm going to tell you how to play with it. Get the slashing, of course, all right? You want to go ahead and go with this right here with the well-rounded because you're going to have to be the three if you're running twos. Remember, I like to do always play off if, as if I'm a twos. This is how it gets crazy. You actually cannot put nothing on your close shot, right, at all. <laughs> Max out your driving layup. Get your driving dunk at an 80, right? Max out your standing dunk to an 81. Get your post hook to a 65. That'll get you right at 18. Max out your mid-range. Your post fade, you want to get to a 75. Your pass accuracy, you don't want to put anything there. You want to put max out your ball handling. And yes, you want to max out your post moves, right? Max out your interior defense, your perimeter, your lateral quickness, and your steals. You want to go 70 on everything else, all right? So there you go, guys and gals. This is the finesse finisher. So as you can tell, you're going to still be able to do whatever you want at the rack because you know you have you have 93 layup, you have 80 um, driving dunk, you have 81 standing dunk. I mean, so you're good at going to the rack. Don't get so caught up in the close shot. The close shot is within five to ten feet of the basket, so you're not really shooting jump shots anyway from that close. That's just weird. Right, you're either shooting threes or you're getting dunks, right? Or things to the basket. So don't worry about don't worry too much about a close shot. And that's why I said, you know what? It's still don't get too scared. Like I said, it's still a playable and it's still a manageable build. You have 66 mid-range, so you can shoot that mid-range shot. You have a 75 post fade and post moves. So you can you can literally turn around, put your back to the basket, and perform some moves going to the rack. And the cool thing is you do have 73 ball handling. So you can face up and get to the rack. And then defensively, you're pretty much solid all the way through. You're not below average. You're not above average. You're just an average defender when it comes to just your defense and your badges. But this is still a playable build. We all know as the rare build community, we're looking for the name. We understand we're going to sacrifice badges to get the name. Okay? So you size, you want to go 6'7. You want to stay at 218. Your max, your wingspan, keep it the same. You want to go a slashing, of course. And ladies and gentlemen, here you go. Your finesse finisher. Right? What? LeBron James. <laughs> Yo, they're trolling. LeBron James is a finesse finisher? How sway win? What year? Maybe when he's 60. <laughs> they got DeMar DeRozan and LeBron James as finesse finishers and James Ruddy. All these guys are really, really good finishers at the basket. Um, DeMar DeRozan and LeBron James finish above the rim. But you know what? Again, as you know, guys, <laughs> I don't know what the developers are thinking when they put these builds and the name together with these actual NBA players. Anyway, go ahead and get this to 99. LeBron James a finesse finisher. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> you want to max these out, man. I'm done. Where's we at? Okay. So contact finisher, consistent finisher. Um, where we at? Slithery finisher. And then you want to go acrobat. All right. And then this is what I'm thinking. All right. You want to go um, fancy footwork and teardropper. All right. Um, we're a finesse build. So you want to go ahead and use a teardrop. I think that's pretty dope. Like a, a teardrop hasn't been used as much. I know Ticino uses a lot. I think it's slept on and it definitely can be used. So I think this would be pretty good for this build, all right? Um, you can also try to go in a Lob City Finisher if you like to do lobs. Um, pick and Roller is good too. Um, Relentless Finisher I thought about, but I was like, man, you know, what What do I need to sacrifice? And I, I just don't know if it's a good, it's good to have. But I think in this case, again, it's your call. I just don't want to get it. 
right? <laughs> For your shooting badges, honestly, <laughs> I mean, you can either go quick draw bronze, hot zone hunter, that's what I'm thinking about going. Um, or maybe you can go, if you want to go deep fades, because you know, we might do some fadeaways. Um, here, of course, you want to go quick first step. I think that's pretty good. You want to go downhill. You also want to go post spin um, technician. Um, you can probably go stop and, um, stop and go because, you know, that's, you might be able to pull that off as, with that with this build because you do have, like I said, 73 on um, ball handling. And then the next one would either be, which I'm going to go say you should go with, is Space Creator, right? So, like, again, you have some really, really good badges to be this slasher, right? And then defensively, you want to go Rebound Chaser, of course. You want to go Intimidator. And I think you want to go Brick Wall, right? And call that a day, all right? So, as you can tell, guys, this is a really, really solid build, all right? Don't get scared because the close shot's not there. Remember, we're playing for the name. This build is 100% playable. Again, I always say this. If I can play with a ball hawk and I can play with a lob threat, you can definitely play with this build too. This build is a little, I say it's a couple notches below the athletic finisher. The, the, you know, this athletic finisher build, you know, that I dropped um, maybe a week ago. But this is still a build that is right in the same area. It's not that far off. It's a, it can be really, really fun because you can still play as a slasher and not think anything about it. But the game changer about this build, and please remember, is that you can dribble with this build. So this will actually make you a huge mismatch when you're playing the three against centers, okay? So take advantage of that. All right, guys, listen, other than that, it's your man, Uncle Demi. Please subscribe. Please like the channel up. Keep this momentum going. Keep the wave going. My nephews, my nieces, you keep on showing support for your uncle, man, and I'm loving it. Now, I stream every night on YouTube. Y'all know that, man. Y'all see me every night, and I see y'all coming in. I really appreciate it. So continue to show me the love, and of course, you show me that love. I'm going to continue to drop these bangers for you, man. Other than that, your man, Uncle Demi, I'm out. <laughs> If he caught for a low, we gon' give it to him Take the stop off the top of no transformer Man, we're ducking and dodging on the corner Don't want flip with a beat like a mighty morpher Tell myself to get rich and go have